guys, it's Kay here, and today I'm coming at you guys with something new. I've been thinking about this for a while, and I think that it's going to happen. So, today's video, as you can read by the title, is going to be a Recreate Monday. This is a series that I've been wanting to start for a long time, but I'm so excited to finally start it now. So what I do is I scroll on Instagram or Twitter or Tumblr or Pinterest, wherever, and I find a makeup look that I'm going to recreate. Um, hopefully I will succeed. If not, it is what it is, but you know, everybody wants to be an Instagram makeup artist and we can't all be one. I'm just going to try. So, I know this isn't the best way to present it to you. I may try and insert a clip or like a picture um, right here so that you can see. Um, but this is as good as I can get. My monitor won't stretch any further. So, that's the only place that I can get it. So, hopefully you can kind of see it. But this is the look that I'm going to be recreating. Um... So yeah, I'm starting with a bare face. I do have a little bit of lip gloss on, but I did just wash my face and it's already moisturized. So we are going to go ahead and hop into the video. Also, don't forget to read the description. Um, you can just go ahead and do that now, you know. Um, but read the description because there's always something interesting down there that I may want you guys to know. So always read that. Um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe because, you know... If you like the video, you, you should subscribe. And also turn on those notifications so that you'll know when I upload and you'll never miss a video when I upload it. So, like her eyebrows are killing the game. Basically, just gonna do my eyebrows like I normally do, but the whole look that I'm recreating is going to be basically just my eyeshadow. So everything else is going to be the same. I'll probably time lapse me doing um, my whole face and like my eyebrows and stuff. And then when I get to my eyes, then I'll start like getting in details. So let me take off my glasses. That would probably be smart. Alright, so about after like 10 minutes of me trying to get my eyebrows even, I'm done. They're still not like completely even, but I think they're as good as they're going to get. My eyebrows are never even, so yeah. And I try to like ombre them because hers are kind of ombre -ed. I don't know if you can tell, but I tried to ombre them, and I don't know if I did too well. So. Okay, so now, I, I don't know if you could tell, but, like, as I was doing my eyebrows, I, like, primed my lids um, with the concealer. I just drugged the concealer down. So I'm just going to go ahead and set that conceal concealer with just some regular setting powder. Alright, so now that we have that all done, I'm going to go ahead and move into doing my face makeup
So now that we have our foundation on, we're going to go ahead and set our foundation. Setting our face, I'm just going to go ahead and start concealing my under eye. She doesn't have too much of a dramatic change like under her eyes. That we're done with that we're gonna go ahead and contour just a tiny tiny bit i'm gonna start off with a lighter shade and work my way darker if i need to because like her makeup like her face is like very subtle but then you have the dramatic eye I'm just going to deepen that up just a tiny bit with a darker contour shade. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm very limited on like things that I can use to set up my camera. So my camera and my um, fall slash... Uh, Thanksgiving cut crease it kept sliding I don't know if you could tell um, I could kind of tell with while editing it but like I saw it like when it actually happened so I think that had something to do with it so I don't know if you can tell but like my cameras kept falling like it just did I'll leave it in the clip and it was irritating the crap out of me I'm so sorry but like, it's, like, one of the only places that I can set up my phone, so, I, like, I don't know. Moving on, we're going to cut it so that our um, contour is a little bit sharper, so it's like very subtle. We're going to make it a little bit sharper to make it appear. I'm running out of powder, so, uh, if you couldn't tell, and now it's just gonna dust that powder away. Now we're just gonna add a tiny bit of blush. I'm not really a blush person, but, you know. 
you know. is that when it falls I'm not paying attention to it and I don't realize that it's falling until it's like all the way like this so it's probably like that for a good bit anyways but I just want to go ahead and say this now um well I'm looking in my mirror that's not what I wanted to say but like if you see me looking straight and like not at the camera that's what I'm looking at because the mirror is right behind but anyways I just want you guys to know that I am only 15 I don't get a lot of makeup, um, so I'm very limited on the makeup that I have, and my mom is just now, like, allowing me to actually wear makeup and play around in it. I do not wear a full face like this out. The only thing that I do to go out is a little bit of eyeshadow, my eyebrows, and my lipstick. Like, that's all I do. No contour, no foundation. No concealer, nothing. So, I just wanted to go ahead and put that out there because I know there's going to be a few people like in the comments like, you're too young, things like that. But if you think about it today, there's a lot of people starting way younger than me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and highlight, which a lot of people wouldn't do now at this point. So we're basically done with the face. Now we're going to go ahead and move into the eyeshadow. So I'm going to like keep having to like put my glasses on and take it off because I need to make sure that I can see everything. So like I said, I've already primed my eyelids so we can just hop right into it. So first I'm just going to take a warm toned orange color and put that in my crease as a transition shade so we're done adding our transition shade on top of that we're just gonna uh, build really build the color to make it deeper rather than like popping that deep shade on like super fast and early because that's where it can get a little messy um, so I'm gonna take this lighter shade of brown I know y'all hear my sister walking around okay Trying to make sure that y'all can see. But I'm blending that in right on top of that orange. I'm going to take a color that's a little bit darker than it, this one right here, and grab a little bit at a time just to deepen up the crease. It's easy to build, but it's hard to take away. So, and I'm holding it very loosely and doing this very softly. And I'm also going to bring this to my outer V. To blend out any harsh lines, I'm just going to go back in with that lighter brown shade that we used earlier 
and just kind of blend that over the edges. That outer V, I'm going to take the tiniest bit of black. I'm actually not even going to use that brush. The tiniest bit of black on this defined eye brush. Um, and work that in the outer V. Make sure that they look a little even. Just a little bit, not a lot. Okay. Alright. Put the glasses back on again. Okay. So now I think we're pretty good on that. Now I'm going to take this thin brush and oh my gosh I'm going to take some concealer on that brush and clean everything up on my lid this is also to set a base for that shimmer that's going on there oh my gosh you all see that chunk Oh, it's not there anymore. Did y'all see that chunk of concealer? But we're going to stop like right at our outer V. So you don't want to bring that all the way over. I know y'all can see that this eyelid is bigger than this one. Like, I know y'all can see. I dealt with it my whole life. It's so annoying. Okay. Anyways, I'm just going to take my finger and tap that out. Just to make sure that's even over everything and I don't have as pigmented as shimmers as she does so I'm just gonna make it work and my gold that I have is like not the same I don't know if you can see that this shimmery gold shade it has like orangey undertones. I'm going to take that same brush that I used to um, clean up the lid just to pack it on. Take a good bit of that and pack this on the lid. Packed my gold on. Now I'm going to take this shimmer. It like shattered so I have to keep it in this bag. But I'm going to take this color eyeshadow by Urban Decay um, in the color Sin and pack this on top to kind of lighten my gold to make it look a little bit more like hers. Alright, so she doesn't have any wings, so um, I do notice that she has on some lashes, so I don't wear like lashes and bands. I have individual lashes, so I'm going to go ahead and put a few of these on and then come back. Now I'm going to take the the dark brown shade and put that on my lower lash line. Alright, so off camera I just went ahead and applied the lashes and put on some lipstick. She got like a light pinky nudie lipstick on, so I did the same. Um and yeah, so this is a finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you like this series down below and if I should continue. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Share the video with your friends um, so you can build up this family. Don't forget to read the description. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.
Let's fill in the brown. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I'm just going to do a tiny bit. Now that we're gonna, what? Now, okay. So like I said, I've always, I, whoa. Okay. What is that smudge on the side of my face? What? Now. Oh, slow. I have hooded eyelids, so it's going to be a little bit harder to do. So she got big old eyelids, but like my eyelids are hidden. So. Oh, no. Fudge. Cue this one mouse. 